Hai, terima kasih kerana masih setia bersama kami di Astro Awani Anda bersama saya Syed Fardino Omar Dan anda sedang menonton Business Alternative Hari ini kita nak terbang okay. Bukan terbang betul Tapi kita berada di lapangan terbang Kerana dalam dunia sekarang ni Kita uh, oleh kerana ada internet Kita nak buat uh, perniagaan kita Kita tak perlu berada pada mana-mana tempat uh, Yang uh, yang spesifik pada satu masa Tetapi kadang-kadang apabila kita melakukan perniagaan kita Lebih elok kalau kita berada di sana Jadi sudah biasa orang uh, Terbang ke sana ke sini uh, Dengan kekerapan yang lebih tinggi sekarang ni Lebih-lebih lagi apabila uh, Tiket harga, tiket penerbangan makin lama makin murah Jadi bagaimana kita boleh memasukkan elemen penerbangan itu dan menggunakan itu sebagai satu platform untuk membina satu jenama yang sebenarnya tiada kena mengena dengan penerbangan. Okey, ini satu konsep yang amat menarik. Saya berada di Fusion Launch uh, dan uh, untuk mengenali dengan lebih lanjut lagi tentang konsep menarik ini bersama kita ialah uh, General Manager of uh, Marketing Communication and Product Management uh, Mr. Muhammad Yasir Awan. Uh, from nice Thank you so much for having us. Welcome. So never would I have thought that if I owned a car My car keys will not only open the doors to my car, but also the doors yeah. to a very nice lounge yes. uh, before I fly off. Thank you. Very interesting concept. Tell us about this. Okay. Uh, I think for us, it was a question of how do we take the brand further. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were actually uh, bumping heads and talking about it. And uh, we came up with this interesting concept. Mm -hmm. uh, why not elevate the brand experience for the customer? Um, let's have a lounge that caters exclusively to Persia owners mm -hmm. and uh, we're flying out of Sky Park. Mm -hmm. Now, interestingly, if you were to ask me why Sky Park, uh, I think uh, we looked at KLIA mm -hmm. and we looked at uh, Subang Sky Park as well. And what we noticed is that we are catering to a crowd that's largely the business traveler. Mm -hmm. And uh, Subang Sky Park actually caters to this kind of clientele. And uh, you find that even traffic volume last year was about 1.5 million mm -hmm. to 2 million. And this year is expected to grow. For the Sky Park itself, yes, yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's, let's take a stroll and uh, we can have a look at uh, sure. this place uh, in its entirety. As you can see, as we walk along, uh, it's actually a very nicely put together place. Yes. Uh, the question again that I have is this. Um, So, as I understand it, this is a, an exercise to alleviate the, yes, the brand standing uh, of the brand. Yeah? Yes. Uh, we don't find uh, lounges to mm. be closely associated with brands that are more people-centric, for example. Yes. Yeah? Uh, so, mid-range uh, car prices, for yes. example. Uh, lounges are more art market, yes. more yes. luxury oriented, yes. yeah? Yes. Uh, and we don't, yet we don't see some of the more luxurious car makers out there taking mm -hmm. this approach. So what gives you the confidence to go down this route? I think at the end of the day, uh, as, a, as a car brand, mm -hmm. we wanted to actually differentiate ourselves from what the other car makers offer. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why we came up with this experience. We said, okay, why not let the customer immerse themselves in the brand experience? Mm -hmm immerse themselves, start talking about the experience, uh, pride of ownership. So those were the values that we looked at and then we came up with this concept. Right, I see. Uh, and what does it take for the customers to actually utilize this space? Is it literally just by showing the keys? Actually, it's very simple. As long as you're flying out of Sky Park, mm -hmm. you just need to show a boarding pass mm -hmm. uh, along with proof of ownership of your car, which okay. is a Peugeot. You mm -hmm. show your Peugeot privilege card, which mm -hmm. is our loyalty card. Mm -hmm. Or you show your keys, car keys yeah? and mm -hmm. you have full access to the lounge with complimentary facilities that we have here. Right, okay. And what are the facilities that Facilities you have? that we offer our customers are things like uh, full uh, lounge seating, uh, comfortable lounge seating. Comfortable, yeah? yeah? Yeah. And we also have uh, complimentary Wi-Fi services. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, complimentary <laughs> refreshments for our customers. Mm -hmm. We also have the use of the meeting room mm -hmm. as well, as well as some reading materials. So, at the end of the day, what we want is for the customer to be relaxed uh, in the Persia ownership experience right. and just have a very relaxed kind of a journey. If you have customers like this, I'll find this yes. sort of um, goodies yeah. being some of the, uh, you know, sweetness yes. uh, to this experience. Yes. Uh, okay, one final question before we go for a break. Uh, what have you learned so far about some of the people that have used this lounge? I think, I think what we have actually found is that uh, Those that have actually visited the lounge since we opened in January, mm -hmm. we have got a, quite a lot of positive feedback from customers. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> they have actually enjoyed the experience here. And uh, surprisingly, some of them are even asking us, when are you opening the next lounge? Right. So I think at the end of the day, uh, that's not something that we are... Well, we'll look at it in the future. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, we are pretty much focused in Sky Park. 
I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we have to go for a short break right now. But when we come back, we have more questions, uh, and we are going to try to bring back the conversation to the car itself. So stay with us uh, on uh, Business Alternative. <laughs> car right here in the VIP lounge but I suppose it's uh, not quite big enough to fit uh, yes. an entire car yes. in here but nonetheless it's a very like you said a very comfortable place yes. uh, we're still talking about the Peugeot lounge uh, here in the Subang Sky Park okay um, again we go back to the point that this is a uh, brand uh, awareness experience yes. Uh, yes. is to add value to the brand and yes. also to add uh, to the customer experience yes. itself okay exactly um, where does the uh, marketing strategy come in? Uh, well, this services your current users, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but what about future owners of Peugeot's? How do you entice them via this facility? Well, I think uh, what we actually did when we s opened up this lounge in January, we had what we call open days. Mm -hmm. So not just uh, giving access to Peugeot owners only, as an introductory to this lounge, we actually uh, opened it up to non-owners of Peugeot. Mm -hmm. And we let them actually experience what Peugeot owners are experiencing. So we have actually done this exercise for almost two months and uh, surprisingly the feedback has been very, very positive. So people who are owning different brands can actually get to experience a Peugeot. Who knows? This could be possibly future Peugeot owners as well. Right. You so never know. It could possibly convert them. It could possibly them. convert. Hey, look, this is what Peugeot is doing mm -hmm. for its customers. Fantastic. But at the end of the day, it's all about dollars and cents. Yeah? Yes. Uh, and as we understand it, your customers do not need to pay to yes. use this facility. Yes. Uh, and we know also that to operate anything in, a, in an airport costs a lot of money, especially yes. when you do it up in such yes. a high yes. quality like this. Yes. Cash flow, uh, where is the money coming from uh, and how do you sustain it? I mean, you know, I don't expect you to give me uh, direct answers, but to sustain this and to ensure that this is going to be here for a while. Well, I think at the end of the day, it's something that we actually work out in our overall plan. And, uh, and I would actually look at a, a launch like this as an investment mm -hmm. for the brand itself. So if you look at the total expenditure, of course, that, that we incur, mm -hmm. this is just part of it. But we look at it as an investment, mm -hmm. not really as a, as a cost to us and all that. Because at the end of the day, you are actually investing in the brand mm -hmm. and investing in the customer as well. Mm -hmm. And this actually will pay off in the mid to long term mm -hmm. for you. But perhaps it would be interesting <coughs> if you could share, you know, this was the idea that you guys picked uh, to, to alleviate the brand experience. What were some of the other innovative ideas that you had uh, that did not quite make the cut? Uh, Recalling back, I mean, there were some ideas, especially tying up with certain companies and all that to, to kind of uh, offer the Persia brand experience mm -hmm. to them. But at the end of the day also, I think uh, this is something that we could, could call our own. Mm -hmm. This is something, uh, a Persia lounge. Because as you know, lounges that are operated uh, in other airports and all that, they have their own branding. And yes. it's not something that you really can associate with the brand, mm -hmm. car brand. So we decided finally that this was the right choice. We open up uh, a launch and call it Peugeot Launch because the branding actually is very, very strong for its customers. Mm -hmm. So that's how we actually settled in on this idea. Right, okay. So the feedback from the customer so far has been positive. Yeah? Quite positive, yes. Okay. But how do you further build it? Well, I think uh, right now, uh, given the facilities that we offer and uh, what we are looking forward to now is uh, how we can actually enhance it a bit more. Mm -hmm. But that is something that we will do maybe uh, later on, maybe in a phase two kind of a plan. Right. It, uh, how do we enhance the launch further, that kind right. of thing. But it also serves as an excellent platform in terms of marketing our products and services from time to time. Mm -hmm. So for instance, if you are launching a new car, we can engage with our customers here. We can mm -hmm. even engage with our business associates in this place. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the positive things that can actually come out of this launch mm -hmm. as well. Uh, and uh, is it just within this facility that you can use or can you also actually let some of that effect spill out onto the other areas of the airport? 
Uh, it will be very interesting. Yes, it is. It is. I think. I think. Why not? Because uh, in the last couple of weeks, we also had a big uh, roadshow here as well, mm -hmm. uh, Persia Roadshow, and the reception that we got was very positive. Okay. So exactly like what you said, from time to time, we can always do different activities that can actually spin out of this launch. Why right. Not? I see. Okay. Uh, it sounds um, very solid. I mean, the idea. It's a very. It's very refreshing to see yes. that car owners exactly. now actually have more and more things yes. thrown their way yes. to to add value to exactly. the experience yeah yes. okay uh, but for now that's all the time we have thank you so much and uh, congratulations on a very interesting concept indeed thank you very much um, i'm sure we'll be able to come back and have more chats and <laughs> see what else we can we'll do, do. most welcome uh, and uh, okay as usual before uh, i leave you i'm going to give you something to think about and and you know i began the show with uh, wondering how car companies can actually uh, do more for the customers so here's a quote that might get you uh, to think about something um, Dolly Parton said, I know of all the people in the world, I'm quoting Dolly Parton, she said that it's very difficult to be a diamond in a world full of rhinestones. And somehow, something like this comes along, which reaffirms the fact that you actually can. Okay, it's 15 minutes till tomorrow, so make it count. My name is Saifredi Norma, you've been watching Business Alternative, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.